It's time for Shamefully Delicious. Great creation, just in time for Thanksgiving this Thursday. Today, Shane Rogers is going to whip up her signature roasted red pepper and walnut dip. It sounds delicious, and I bet it's going to be. Hey, Shane. Hi there. I hope it's going to be delicious. I like it already. All um, right. It's a spin on a Middle Eastern dip, but uh, we are making it a little bit different today. Um, uh -huh. So that fits my keto recipes because that's my lifestyle, but it's also going to be delicious for my friends who are not, um, you know, doing that. They won't know the difference, but I can take it or share it if I get the chance. Um, so that is the key, isn't it, Shane? That that's that's how this is supposed to work because you fix a keto for you, but everybody else doesn't have to like be on keto. It's like, oh, it just tastes great. It tastes great. So enjoy yeah. it. Yeah. I like, you know, I like to share my stuff and, um, you know, it's a good, it's, this is a good one. All right. So let's one. get started. What's the first yeah. step, Shane? Well, we toasted some walnuts and um, we let them cool and we're going to add those first to our blender. And I would say um, for this recipe, you probably want a pretty high powered blender um, just because it is going to have to grind all these walnuts and lots of other deliciousness. So keep a, a pretty high powered blender and put the walnuts in first. All and right, then Shane, before add... you go any further, hold yeah. on a second, because some of us have never toasted a walnut. How long do, does that take? And, <laughs> and step one, it's like, oh, it step takes... one, get a million dollars. Okay, all right, good. Now we go from there. Um, it takes probably about five minutes and you want to do it on okay. a real low flame on top of the stove or you can put it on a, spread it out on a baking sheet and put it in the oven and do it that way. Don't walk okay. away. When you start right. to smell them, it's when they're done. And sometimes you have to take them off right then because we don't, okay. you don't want to burn walnuts. If you burn the walnuts, you got to start over again. Okay, good. I'm sorry. To, I interrupted you. Go ahead. No, go ahead. That's a good, that's a very good point. Uh, next, we're going to add a 16 ounce jar of roasted red peppers. And this is where we're kind of taking a little help from the store. We're going to, um, you could totally roast these yourself, but it's Thanksgiving yeah. and you've got lots of other things to do. So we're going to yeah. put all of these in there and we're going to save. There's a little bit of brine in this bowl from the jar and we're going to save that for later once we blend it up and we may need to use it to kind of give it a little, make it a little looser. Okay. Um, next, we've got four ounces of cream cheese and that's kind of how I made it a little bit keto is added some creaminess and some fat, um, but not too much. Um, so it's, it'll still be good. So we've got the kind of the big things in, and now we're going to the flavoring. Um, right. we're going to use two fat cloves of garlic and some of this, Ooh. um, you can kind of make it to your taste. If you're not a huge garlic fan, either put a little less in or leave it out completely. We're going to add some lemon juice, about a tablespoon. And now we're going to add a little bit of salt. Oh, it's, it's stuck. So, uh, so Shane, I was uh, I was surprised when you said garlic. I was just assuming this was going to be more uh, of a sweet kind of flavor, but no, I, I, you're heading spicy, aren't you? I am heading. You know me. Yeah. Um, <laughs> it's well, a, you're it's sweet. A, it's a, a middle. It's a riff on a Middle Eastern dip. Okay. So it's going to have a little bit of spice. We're going to add a couple of tablespoons of olive oil. And my favorite thing ever, some smoky paprika. So this is a little bit smoky, a little bit spicy, and it's going to help with that dark red color. So it has a couple of different things that it does. We're going to add a teaspoon of that. And to make it really spicy, I've got about a half a teaspoon of crushed red pepper. This is one of those things kind of, you know, follow your own taste on this one. If you don't want it spicy at all, you can completely leave it out. You want to ramp it up, add some more. Okay. And that's it. Now we're just going to blend it. So I'm going to pop you this said on here. You might need a pretty heavy duty blender because of the walnuts and all the other ingredients. You do. I wouldn't try this on your regular countertop version. In fact, we're going to turn this to the grind setting. And we're going to let it you're, go. We're going to let it go for a You're a grinder about. anyway, Shane. You're always grinding away, just going Right? Out I got a lot of things on my plate. <laughs> so we're going to let it go. It's gonna start. Oh, there we go. <laughs> All right, so grinding away and getting everything done there. Uh, Shane, I don't know whether or not um, 
you know this or not, but the, I think the grinder froze us up there. There we go. Is it all done already? About 30 is. seconds. Yeah. You can see how creamy and smooth it is. And I'm going to show you. There's not even the essence, like the essence of the walnut is in there, but it's, it's super smooth and silky. Nice. And Got about a minute left, Shane. Okay. So here's the deal. We're done. Cut up some vegetables and serve uh -huh. it. I'm going to actually put it in some of these little cute little jars and maybe of make some. You are. Uh, <laughs> yes, of course. Uh, make some uh, fresh vegetables and drop it off at my neighbor's house so that while they're prepping for Thanksgiving, they can have a nice treat that's healthy and delicious. Wow. That was pretty easy, Shane. Uh, yeah, Five minutes or less. And yeah. here's the deal. If you want to make it for Thanksgiving, make it a couple of days ahead. All those flavors will get in there. Pop it in the fridge. Seal it up. Pop it in the fridge. All those flavors will come together. It'll be even better on Thanksgiving. Wow. I think I maybe I could even do that one. I think you could. I have complete <laughs> well, with, faith in you, Mr. Bevins. <laughs> thank you, Shane. And thank you for another great idea. And it's going to taste great whether you're keto or not. A big thank you Absolutely. to Shanye, the, the, <laughs> the wonder herself. Uh, Shane, happy Thanksgiving to you and your family. Once again, we'll post the recipe on our show website by later today, wtvr.com slash btm. And please stick around because we're coming right back after this.